If you are looking to run Olama based models on your mobile phone, then this video might help you. In this video, I am going to introduce you to this new tool called as Olama app. Olama app is a modern and very easy to use client interface for Olama based models. One thing I want to clear upfront is that this is not meant for installing Olama server itself on the device and you won't be really downloading any model on the device at all it is just an interface to your olama server so first you would need to install olama on your server wherever that is and then that server exposes an endpoint which you will be accessing through this olama app that is all there is to it if you don't know how to create an olama server and publicly expose it through remote ip just search my channel i have done heaps of videos on it you should be able to find it so considering that you already have your olama server running somewhere and you have an endpoint which is publicly available but publicly available i mean that it is available on the internet which you can access from anywhere then just open your phone go to your play store or wherever and then download this app and then once you have downloaded it then let me show you the steps as how you can access this olama app and then client so once you will install your app you will be presented with something like this now this is a welcome screen which you will get and then after this pop-up you can go through the welcome dialogue one by one you should read the the content but you really don't have to then once you come to this screen here you will get a small snack bar noting, notifying that you have to set the host and then here and here so this is a snack bar where you will be asked for the host and then for that you would need to open the sidebar for that just swipe from the left to right or click the icon in the top left corner and then click on settings there you will find all the app related settings and then you can go through them but for the initial setup only you need is this host in the host field you just enter your public endpoint of your olama server so some people just expose it on http for that you would need port 80 but normally in the production environment it is with ssl which is https so make sure that you select the port 443 for that and then after that you can click the save icon on the right hand side and then once you have it then it will check your address and then from there it is all fair game and you can just simply chat so just click on new chat here and then you can start chatting like this and once you have chatted away then you can also select your model so th these are the model which you would already have installed on your olama server so once you have it then you can select like orca mini code llama mistral phi 3 lava as you know that you can even go with multimodal models on olama now and olama supported models are huge so just imagine you can even go with the code stroll model which is a coding model from mistral which was released just last week i believe so you can access that and you can do coding on your mobile phone by using that model how good is that and then you can even go with the multimodal model that you can see on your screen and then you can take the image upload the image and chat with your image for example you are touring some place you come across any painting or if you are in the museum you come across any artifact you want to know what that is or you see some of the place you just want to know where that is you take the image you upload that image and then you just ask your model in your app that what exactly is that place or you want to get the directions you want to you know do anything whatever you can do with a large language model so all in all really good stuff and you see that now ai is really becoming mainstream and i really like this app quite lightweight so i tried to inst i installed it my android phone works like a charm very easy because it has a very modern and clean interface quite easy to use it also saves your chat history which is quite handy and then it also gives the titles to your conversation just like chat gpt now it also has full markdown support and then it is it has fully open source 
so you can go to their github repo which i will drop the link in their video description and then also you can check it out more features so one thing i was quite surprised that the name of the app is not that innovative and i believe there is already an app like that i think the, the creator would do good to maybe change the name or you know do something around that um also maybe you know uh, i'm more like fan of dark uh, mode so because the white is sometimes really not that good but depends i think i don't think so the colors uh, you can fix as long as, uh, as i checked this morning but you can check it later on so also i think uh, pretty good really like the idea of it so let me know what do you think if you are aware of any other similar app let me know I'm happy to review it and it's all free and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching